Welcome to the Data Protection Advisor Web Console demonstration. This demonstration will cover the GPA management interface. In this demo, we'll be covering the GPA Web Console, so let's get started. First, we need to log into the Web Console. Uh, we need to enter the username and password here. In this case, I'm going to be using the administrator account, so we have full access to the to the console. So this is the web console. Um, here at the left we can see the primary navigation. Those are the main functions of the web console. For, for each uh, primary function we have a number of uh, different secondary options here. We have the same options at the top of the screen here uh, in the form of tabs. And at the bottom of the screen, we can see the alert bar. So let's start with the dashboard. Dashboard provides you high level information of your environment. Um, it displays a number of different uh, small windows that we call viewlets, as you can see here. GPA comes with a number of uh, default uh, dashboards, and it, each dashboard shows a uh, different viewlets. For example, let's take a look at the summary dashboard. Uh, we see here um, other stars by group, backup key, performance indicators, and things like that. We can also create our own dashboard or change the existing dashboards. If you go to add dashboard, for example, you can change the scope, the time period, schedule for any given uh, viewlet or dashboard. I'm going, to, I'm going to cancel here. We also have a dashboard actions uh, menu where, where you can save a dashboard, email it, or publish a dashboard. And again, you can also create your own custom dashboard. So you're going to see that in a minute. Uh, next, we're going to cover the advisor uh, function. Um, here we have alerts and replication analysis. So Let's take a look at uh, alerts first. Uh, as you can see here, we have a list of all the alerts in the system. Uh, usually, um, alerts are created by the analysis engine. Here we see the description, uh, in some cases, resolution for the alerts. As part of alerts management, you can also acknowledge, close, or add nodes to uh, it alert. Next. Let's take a look on replication analysis. Uh, here at the right, you can see a list of uh, replication gaps in your environment. Um, and at the left, you see a tree uh, displaying all the objects in your environment that are using replication. Uh, the green marks means replication is OK. Um, this exclamation mark means uh, you have a non-critical uh, alert. For example, a database not in backup mode or something like that. And red marks means critical uh, gaps. For example, replication is not happening for some reason. Next, let's take a look at the reports function. So here we have a number of different uh, options. First one is to run a report. Basically running a report is a three-step process. We start by selecting scope of the report, that means an object or a group. Um, then we must select the report template, that means which report we want to run. Um, we have a number of different categories here, as you can see. Let's, for example, select memory memory configuration. <clears throat> and finally, we select the time period. Uh, then we'll click Run, and here is our report. 